Good day everyone, I am Kate Lorraine Kanumay from BSN 111B and today I'll be showing you my return demonstration in performing skin, hair, and nail assessment. So this assessment is essential as it captures the patient's overall physical well-being based on careful palpation and inspection of the skin. This will also give us an insight about potentially serious diseases through any skin abnormalities that may harm the health of our patient. So before we start, we need to ensure the completeness of all the necessary equipment needed. So we have here alcohol for hand hygiene and disinfection, gloves to protect our hands from cross-contamination, pick up forceps, betadine, and cotton balls for the dressing of the wound, pen light for the better view of the wound, tape measure and ruler, to measure the size of any lesions. And lastly, we have gauze and plaster for the covering of the wound. So the organization and completeness of all the necessary equipment needed ensure our efficiency as student nurses. So prior to the assessment, we need to ensure the privacy of our patient by closing any doors and any windows. And also, we need to provide adequate lighting and adjust room temperature for patient's comfort. Okay, since I'm done ensuring the patient's privacy and comfort, I will now review the patient's medical record for the continuity of care. Okay, now that I'm done reviewing the patient's medical record, I will now perform hand hygiene for disinfection. Okay, now that we are all set, we can now proceed to the assessment. Good day, sir. I am Kate Lauren Kanuma, your student nurse for today. Can you confirm your name and age, please? Good day. I am Patrick Anay, and I am 20 years old. Okay, now, how about your birthday? It's on April 26, 2002. And how would you like me to call you? Just call me Mr. Patrick. Okay, Mr. Patrick, today I'm going to be inspecting and palpating your skin, hair, and nail to inspect or to check for any lesions or any skin changes that you may have give us an insight about your current health status. So we do this to ensure that everything is normal and if there are any abnormalities, we will note it in order to prevent further complications. But don't worry about anything else because all of the informations um, will remain confidential and will only be used for medical purposes only. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. So do you have any questions, clarifications before we start? No, none so far. Okay, but if there's any, just don't hesitate to ask, okay? Now I'm going to ask you some questions regarding your health and your medical history for us to provide you the best care that will be suited for you. Would that be alright? Of course. Okay, let's get started then. Okay, so Mr. Patrick, are you currently experiencing any skin problems like do you have any rashes, lesions, or any skin changes that we have noticed? Yes, I'm currently having this open wound mm -hmm. on my left knee, which is very itchy. Okay, so when did you first notice it? I noticed it last week. Okay, so what do you think happened with that or where do you think did you get that? I cannot really tell the exact situation, but when I first noticed it, it was just like a small blisters that was very itchy. So I scratched it over and over again. And then on the other day around, I noticed that it became an open wound. Okay, so when you first noted it, noticed it, what did you do? Did you put any ointment or any medication to it? Yes, I put some better than on it twice in a single day because I'm afraid that it will become infected. Okay, that's great. So, um, aside from the wound, are there any other illnesses or skin diseases that you have experienced or any um, illnesses like diabetes or any respiratory diseases? No, I don't remember any. Okay, how about any members of your family? Did they experience any health issues or current illnesses like rashes or um, history of skin cancer or skin problems? Yes. My dad was diagnosed with diabetes mm -hmm. eight years ago and he had a history of dermatitis. Okay, so are there any other illnesses that have affected your family? No, I don't remember any. Okay, that's right. Um, do you have any allergies or to pets or any 
food? Yes, I do have an allergies on chicken and on eggs. Okay, how about drug allergies? No. Okay, do you have any vices? Like, do you drink alcohol or do you smoke? Not at all. Okay, that's great. Now, Mr. Patrick, are you um, spending long hours standing, sitting, or lying in one position? No, I am moving from time to time. Okay, that's great. Now, may I ask is, if what is your daily routine in taking care of your skin, hair, and nails? Like, do you use any products in taking care of them? Um, I usually take a shower every morning, mm -hmm. and the evening, I take a bath regularly. At the same time, I use shampoo and conditioner for my hair. I also apply moisturizers and lotion on my skin. And at the same time, I cut my nails every after two weeks. Okay, that's great. So, we're done with the questions. Now, I'm going to inspect your skin and I'll start from your head down to your toes. Would that be alright? Yes, of course. Okay, now I'm going to get the gown for a while. Is it okay if you remove your clothes for me to inspect and palpate any parts of your skin? Yes, of course. Okay, that's great. Okay. Now I'm going to inspect your hair. Is it okay if I touch your hair? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. Basically, I am checking for any lesions or any scars or infestation in, on the scalp, which we don't have. Okay, that's good. So I see that your hair is very dark. Skin is intact. Moisture and texture also. And I don't see any lice or any dandruff. Okay, that's great. Now let's move to your face. Let me see. Okay. I see that your hair is evenly distributed to your skull, eyebrows, and eyelashes. That's good. Now I'm going to check. Okay. Okay, notice that you have um, piercing on each side of your ears. Okay. And also you have three flat moles on each side of your face. Okay, let me just measure it. Okay, for a while. Okay. okay, borders are regular and it is also symmetrical and sizes are about 0.1 centimeters to 0.2 centimeters. Okay, so Mr. Patrick, um, so this uh, moles that you have, has it been there for a while or did it just pop out? It has been there for a while. Okay, so do you notice any changes of it like its color, size and shape? I don't remember any. Okay, that's great. Now let's move to your neck. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so I don't see any signs of abnormalities. That's good. Now I'm going to check your skin trigger. I will just pinch your skin at the top of your collarbone. Would that be alright? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay, so the skin quickly returns to its normal place. It means that your skin trigger is normal. And also it indicates that you are well hydrated. That's good. Now I'm going to check your back. Okay. Okay, so there are no redness or any lesions or rashes or any signs of abnormalities, which is good. Okay. Let me see your hands, please. Okay. Okay, skin is warm. Also here, skin is warm. So there are no signs of discoloration, okay? There are also no signs of abrasion and bruises, okay? That's great. So there are no signs of other abnormalities, okay? Now I'm going to check your temperature. Is it okay if I touch your face? You may do so. Okay. Okay. Your skin is warm. It means that you have a normal temperature, okay? Let me check your nails. Can you please? Okay, thank you. Okay, I see that your nails are properly groomed and trimmed. It also it is also clean. That's great. Okay. The shape of your nails is about 160 degrees between the base of the nail and the skin. That's good. Also, the texture and its color is also good. And there are no signs of clotting in your nails, which is overall your nails is um, in normal condition. Now I'm going to check your capillary refill again. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So, since the color quickly returns to normal, it means that your capillary refill is normal. Okay. Now, I'm going to inspect your lower extremities. Can you please lay down for me, please? Okay. Thank you for a while. Okay. Um, I'm going to inspect first your right leg. So let me see your right leg. Okay, so I see that you have a lot of scars in your knee and in your leg. Can you please tell me what happened with this, if that's okay? All of my scars came from my childhood experiences, both my right and left leg were scraped because of playing and such. Okay, so aside from the scars, there are no other abnormalities that I have noticed. Okay, now I'm going to inspect for any signs of edema and also for your capillary refill. Okay, I'm going to put pressure in here for a while. Okay, your right leg is clear for edema. Now I'm going to check for your capillary refill. Okay. Okay, also, the color quickly returns to normal. It means that your capillary refill is normal. Now, I'm going to check your left leg. Okay. Okay, I see that this is the one that you have complained about a while ago. Is it okay if I remove the cover? Yes, okay. Okay. Okay, I see that there is an ulceration here. It is also um, reddish and pinkish in color. So let me just get a ruler. Okay, so it is about 0 0.2 centimeters wide and 0 0.2 centimeters in length. Okay. Okay, so does it hurt if I put any pressure in here? Yes, it hurts a little bit. Okay, so I highly advise that you don't touch it in order not to um, further penetrate the skin or the wound and for also to avoid infection. Okay? Yes. I'm going to cover it up again. But first, I will put betadine on it. Okay, now I'm going to inspect for any signs of, of edema and also for your capillary refill, okay? Now I'm going to put pressure here. Okay, your left leg is clear for edema. Now I'm going to inspect your capillary refill. Okay, also your capillary refill is also normal. Okay. Now that I'm done assessing, you can now sit back. Okay. Can now remove the gown. Okay. Now I'm going to sum up all of the information that I have gathered. First, I noticed that your skin is intact, consistent, and um, all over your body. And second, um, you don't have any discolorations in your skin. And also, I don't see any abnormalities in your skin. Um, skull in your hair and also your nails and also the texture and moisture of your skin is good and i don't see any abnormalities in your back and also your neck and your hair is evenly distributed and also i noticed three flat moles on each side of your face which has symmetrical and regular border and sizes Ranges from 0 0.1 centimeters to 0 0.2 centimeters. Okay, also notice that you have piercings on each side of your um, ear. So, your capillary refill, your temperature, and also your skin turgor is also in, in normal range. So, lastly, your leg, your right leg is normal, but there are a lot of scars, but it is considered normal. But however, your left leg has an ulceration and it has reddish and pinkish in color. And 
Its size is about 2 cm wide and 2 cm long. Okay? So that's it. Do you have any questions or clarifications about all the information that I have noticed? No, everything is clear. Okay, so the doctor will be here any minute soon and I will give him the results. And see you after that. Okay? Thank you. Okay, I'm back. So I already have your um, prescriptions here. But before you go, I will just have to um, give you some health reminders, okay? First, regarding your wound. So I highly advise not to touch it in order not to um, get any infections or to avoid damage on the skin. Keep it dry and clean, okay? And second, since you uh, mentioned that you have a family history of diabetes, I highly advise to minimize the intake of sugar, salt, and caffeine, okay? I think that's it, Mr. Patrick. So here's your prescription. Make sure to follow everything in there, okay? And thank you for your operation, and thank you, Mr. Patrick. Thank you so much. Thank you. So after the assessment, I will now document all of the information that I have gathered to the patient's medical record. Okay, now that I'm done documenting all of the information that I have gathered, I will now perform hand hygiene for this infection. Okay, so that's it for my return demonstration. Again, I am Katherine Kanumai from BSN 111B. Thank you for watching.